Sandor Clegane arrives horseback with Daenerys's army of Unsullied. He is seen later in the forges while Gendry prepares him an axe made of dragonglass. While he waits for the weapon, he makes a snide remark to Gendry, only to be cut off by Arya who defends Gendry. He points out that she left him for dead, to which she replies, first I robbed you. He realizes just how ruthless and trained the girl has become, by saying, you're a cold little bitch, aren't you? Guess that's why you're still alive, before stalking off. In preparation for the fight to come, Sandor goes up on the walls of the castle and drinks alone until he is approached by Arya, who asks him why someone like him, who is used to only fight for himself, has now joined a greater cause. Sandor recalls that he did fight for her once. They are then approached by Beric Dondarrion, who begins to speak about the Lord of Light before Sandor interrupts him, threatening to throw him off Winterfell's ramparts. Once Arya is gone, Sandor remains drinking with Beric while waiting for the battle to begin. During the Battle of Winterfell, Sandor is initially on the front line of the infantry, which falls under attack after the Dothraki cavalry was eliminated by the Whites. Sandor fights off many Whites but is forced to retreat with the rest of his troops as there are far too many enemies. Sandor is left distraught when the trench is set on fire, which causes his pyrophobia to resurface to the point that he refuses to fight any longer, claiming to Beric that they cannot defeat death. However, Sandor musters the courage to resume the fight upon seeing Arya struggling against a group of Whites. Sandor and Beric search for Arya in the castle, and find her chased by several Whites. They manage to save her and retreat in the Great Hall, where they encounter Melisandre. As Beric has died from his wounds and Arya leaves to face the White Walkers, Sandor remains in the hall with Melisandre until the end of the battle, which is ended by the complete annihilation of the Army of the Dead. Exiting the castle's interior, Sandor sees Melisandre departing without a word to meet her death. While the living celebrate their victory over the dead, Sandor expresses disinterest in sleeping with any woman. When Sansa talks to him, he states she wouldn't have to go through the trauma she went through if she escaped King's Landing with him during Battle of the Blackwater. Sansa however replies that if she did, she wouldn't have learned so much and would still be a little bird. During the Battle of King's Landing, Sandor and Arya infiltrate King's Landing in order to assassinate Cersei. After they reach the Red Keep, Sandor witnesses the destruction being wrought by Drogon and convinces Arya to leave the city in order to survive. He is able to reach the Red Keep and effortlessly slaughters the surviving Queensguard, but allows Cersei to flee, only having desired to kill Gregor and knowing that the Lannister Queen will likely die during Daenerys' attack. Staring up at his monstrous figure, Sandor draws his sword and attacks head-on. He manages to remove Gregor's helmet, revealing a grotesque appearance. He eventually impales Gregor through his stomach, but it proves useless, due to his state of apparent undeath. Despite stabbing him repeatedly in the neck and chest, Gregor shows no signs of pain, as he picks Sandor up and slams him against a column. Gregor proceeds to gouge Sandor's eyes, much the same as he did with Oberon, but fails to destroy them completely as Sandor stabs him through his left eye with his dagger. Sandor, with what vision he has left, screams angrily and throws himself and Gregor through a crumbling wall and off the falling tower to their fiery deaths below.